Greetings everyone, Joseph Anderson here and I wanted to bring you uh, this video on the PHP selector and what a great tool this is and how it works. Um, a lot of folks find that sometimes certain software scripts that they have won't run because the um, they were written under an old PHP version, let's say 4.4 even, and therefore they got to find a host that's running 4.4 natively or someone like us with the PHP selector. So I'm going to type in PHP up here in the find box. I could have done it in the search features as well. It brings up the select PHP version. Uh, and then, of course, typing it in the other bar immediately made the uh, menu shrink. In any event, here we go. You can see native is 5.4. Now you can customize any of these. PHP versions 4.4 going all the way up to 7.0 here and what and what I mean by that is just for hypothetically I'm going to set this at uh, 5.3 and when I do that it brings up this uh, box here with all the options of different kinds of packages to add to the system um, we, we put some already had pre-selected some of the basic uh, packages that people needed MySQL and stuff, so uh, Ion Cube Loader, etc. So folks have the chance to, uh, the opportunity to uh, um, choose what they want if they need it. <laughs> you should only be choosing what you need, of course, but uh, uh, but at the same time have a basic uh, uh, layout here ready to run, uh, so they can hit the ground running. Another one of the things we found with this what this uh, PHP selector is that the uh, not only can you control the packages but you can control some of the um, uh, other features of it I don't know what happened there but I'm going to go 5.3 oh there it is and, and, and when I had clicked that up here switch to PHP extensions that's the one where you've seen the MySQL -E and, and uh, uh, stuff just a moment ago in any event so here was 5.3 and these are the settings for it and I found that you can uh, turn some of these on and off just simply by clicking on them excuse me so here though this was one that disturbed me it has the uh, uh, memory limit to 128 and uh, it, it allows you to run it up to 512 which is fine but the fact of the matter is is that we set our PHP this memory limit setting right here natively on the server is uh, 1024 megabytes but the um, Cloud Linux PHP selector here is only going up to 512 so that seems to be a negative on that one also for example we have our upload file size max is set to only 2 megs and it'll allow us to go up to 1 gig and on our native settings that's 2 gig so if you do select uh, and change PHP versions once you go in here and, and uh, make some of these changes here's another one post max file size even 128 uh, is a is a possibility here but the point on this one is is that it's 2 gigs on the native uh, native inst uh, native install PHP so whichever one is native at this point it's 5.5 uh, excuse me 5.4 and I was uh, thinking about it because I want to run this up to 5.5 I believe but we need to test this if we make it native 5.5 the last time I had tried it uh, um, a, a bunch of stuff of our own went down so it wasn't something we were just going to switch to Thank you and hope you enjoyed this video and seen how you can change many of these things. Also, oh, one more note, max execution time. This is, uh, that we natively that's set to 240. So in any event, you can see each cPanel account can have its own version of one of these, um, one of these PHP versions and, and also have custom settings for the items for memory and all the rest of that stuff otherwise um, 
go native um, as long as your stuff works well on it. But if not, uh, change to what you need it to be. Thank you and have a great day.